bringing the people behind our food to life. Hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Well, I think hash is a lot more than just something that's in a can. If you look on Wikipedia, what you'll see is it's generally uh, some sort of leftover meat, um, potatoes, and some spices. But hash is a lot more than just that. I mean, you can you can be all vegetarian. You could use uh, tempa or tofu. I mean, you can use uh, pork. Uh, you can use seafood. I mean, one of my favorite, absolute favorite hashes is smoked salmon hash. Hash actually comes from the French verb haché, which is to chop. So it's generally things that are chopped up. And uh, I think for me, um, hash is, is its own food group. The hash that really got me interested in, in uh, you know, working towards world hash domination, as I like to say, is a smoked trout hash at, at a restaurant called Rue in Northeast Portland. I remember being served the smoked trout hash with this poached egg, and when you cut into it, the, the silky texture and the silky yolk and the combination of the salty smoked trout was just amazing. I mean, this was like a real revelation for me. So I said, hey, I can do this at home. I'm gonna to try to make this at home. I'm gonna get all the yummy goodness out of the, after the braising. I started to work on my, making my own hashes. And then the next thing I decided to do is, hey, I have to figure out what other places think of decent hashes. So I started going to different restaurants. And then I started inviting people and said, hey, let's have a hash capade. And they said, what's a hash capade? And I said, well, it's, it's a hash plus an escapade. And so we started to throw that out there on Facebook and Twitter and, and you know, started meeting new people. We pick out, you know, restaurants that are, um, you know, have a, a cool environment, um, are friendly and uh, you know, generally serve different types of hashes. But it's really about the social experience to me. And uh, hash capades are very, very simple in terms of the rules. Number one is to have fun. Number two is to order whatever you want. And number three is see the new rule number one. <laughs> to me, the thing that makes a hash really stand out is a couple things. Number one is proportions. Um, I don't want, um, you know, uh, a cup of beef and then like two little niblets of, of potatoes. I like, I like balance between the two. Um, the other thing is there has to be a good amount of moisture. Cream fresh or something like that helps with, with, the, with the moisture. And of course, an egg on top is great. But, uh, you know, even you can, you know, you can use other, other sauces as well. And I think the third thing is just the, the flavor profile itself um, and the color and the arrangement of it. Oh, did I get an egg? I didn't get an egg. It's the most original hash capade I think we've had. Am I right? After a hash capade, typically the, the people are, are really excited. They say, hey, Clark, when's the next one? I want to come to the next one. Make sure you tweet me or make sure you, know, you, you let me know on Facebook. Um, a lot of them say, I had no idea that hash was this good. Or, hey, you know, I really like the, the friends that you have or, the, you know, the people that show up. It's so interesting. It's such a diverse mix of people. And I think, you know, it, it's true. It, it's a lot of fun that way. I think, you know, we're all behind our desks, behind our computers or plugged in, if, if you will. And I think the thing about this social aspect is, you know, communing with all these people around a table and having, you know, great meal great conversation, and of course, great adult libations. What I think would be really neat is if I could have multiple hashcapades occurring across the country uh, on the same day and, and get you know, these people to take pictures and, and again, see the sense of community and these people coming together over food and have them share their experience. And then you'd get a, a real interesting profile or cross-section across the country of, of the people, of the types of hashes, of the venues. You know, it's great for, for lunch and, and for dinner. And I've made um, a hash, you know, beef tenderloin hash pot pie and had that for dinner. Um, so it's not confined, in, at least in my repertoire, to just breakfast. And that's the thing that I'm trying to get across to people when we, when we have a hash capade is, hey, you know, it's more than corned beef. It's more than just for breakfast. And, and uh, I think people can relate to that, and especially it's a great way 
to you know reuse your food as well. So I think there's a lot of benefit and wisdom. And again, this is probably from time immemorial that people have you know cut up their leftovers and created hash. Okay. You know, a lot of people think that, that hash is just corned beef hash. But if, if you think about it, and, and if you do a little bit of research, you'll find that lots of different cultures have a thing called hash. It's just a different name. You know, purple grapes would be good because then it would give, give you even more color because we already got the greens and the parsley. 